Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of HSN 30K Media. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for coming by. Uh, I have my 240SX right behind me. And today we're going to be doing a part one of a uh, series with my big brake kit. I decided to go with the 300ZX uh, Z32 big brake kit because it's a direct bolt-on to the car. And you don't need to do a lot of like fabrication work. It's like little to nothing. You just have to know the right parts to buy and make sure everything lines up well. So as you guys see here in front of me, these are all the parts that you're going to need. I'll give you guys some uh, feedback on what I did to kind of like get all the parts. Um, some of them were a lot harder than others. And there's some websites that you might want to like, you know, uh, go towards and maybe some that you kind of want to stay away from. And maybe just like some of my, uh, you know, opinions on what you guys should look out for when you're doing a big break kit. So this part one is just going to be all the parts that we bought and, um, we're gonna be talking about you know what you're gonna need to assemble the brakes and also we're gonna be going over all the paint that I bought. Um, I'm gonna be painting these calipers. Um, it's a really popular thing to do. Um, we'll be touching base on like powder coating versus painting and why I went with painting. And also last but not least, um, we're gonna be talking about like the tools that you need to kind of like do a really good job on the paint to make sure that it lasts. Um, keep in mind that when you paint your calipers, it's gonna fade eventually in the future. It's not gonna last forever because brake fluid is going to seep out and over time you know it's going to eat away at that paint but it gives you a, a more like aesthetic look it makes your car look a lot nicer especially when you have it installed um yeah with that being said let's just jump right into it so as you guys see here we'll start first with the actual um, calipers right so these are actually off of the 300zx you can buy uh these brand new um or you can buy them rebuilt so i bought these off of rock auto parts for about 60 70 bucks each which is a really good deal um, so as you guys can see here this is the actual caliber that it looks like um, these are actually the built-in um, they come with the two piston actually no, the uh, four piston so a total of like uh, four on each side and you have to keep in mind that when you buy these calipers there's a different couple of different versions there's a cardone version there's a centric version um, I went with the cardone version because uh, couple of people on the forums have one of those and never had any issues. Um, so just taking a look at this right here, you have like a bleeder valve right there. You have um, this port that you put the, uh, the lines that goes into here and you have um, the four pistons right here. It gives you a lot more massive brake power and it's a really popular upgrade, especially on the track. I noticed that my brakes were fading after like four or five laps. So these should help with that and give the car more like aesthetic look as well. Something to keep in mind is that um, I like the car to look kind of OEM, so I was looking for a brake kit that had like a Nissan badge right here, but unfortunately this did not come with it. So we're going to be putting a Nissan sticker right here, which uh, I'll probably show you guys a little bit later in the next episode. But this is the, what the, the brake uh, caliper looks like for the 300ZX, so as you guys can see here. It looks pretty nice, it's fairly brand new. Um, all the seals have been uh, rebuilt and the rubber seals have been really solid. So we'll just set that aside. Uh, I got this off Rock Auto Parts, like I mentioned. It does come with all the hardware, like the pins right here. It comes with the, um, the shoe bracket and then uh, the tie down just to tie everything down once it's installed. So uh, it comes with two, as you can see here, and it does come with all the hardware. So you guys don't need a source for any of the hardware out there. So that covers the calipers, direct bolt on to the S13 chassis. Um, next, we're gonna talk about this right here. This is the Z32 Brickmaster cylinder. And there's been a lot of like debate and a lot of, uh, you know, uh, forums, people in forums that have mentioned like, do you want to actually, you know, uh, upgrade this part? And I think you should. I also talked to my mechanic about this and you should because, you know, you're going to be running a higher volume and you're going to be running, you know, more volume brick fluid into the calipers, right? So the one that comes with the 240 now, the stock one, it doesn't hold as much volume and it's not as, as strong, it doesn't push as much brake to the um, caliper. So you're going to want to upgrade this to improve your pedal feel and also um, to just make sure everything is like consistent, you know, you don't want to upgrade like, you know, a nice part and then just use like some older, you know, under underrated part for your car. So make sure you upgrade to the Z32 Brake Master Cylinder. Um, also keep in mind that you have to buy the right version. So 
my car doesn't have ABS, it's not an ABS model. So the non-ABS models have three ports right here. So you're gonna want you're gonna buy the three feeds, right? So the uh, ABS models only have two, right? This middle one is it's not present, or if it's present, you can put a fitting in there to, to like seal it up. So I was lucky enough to buy this off of uh, FR Sport. They did have one left in stock, which I bought. Um, but you can also buy the Cardone version on a Rock Auto. And I had I bought that first actually before I bought this one. But uh, there was a lot of more reviews on FR Sport that this model was actually a lot more. Um, it, it fits better and it's the right one. So I didn't know if the Cardone one would be the right one or not because I didn't want to buy one and didn't have the right fitting or didn't fit well. So I spent a little bit more money and went on FR Sport and bought this one. So it has three fittings here, a larger capacity to hold a uh, brake fluid right here. And it's direct bolt-on. I've seen a couple videos on YouTube of people doing this and this is just a sensor uh, connects to your um, other sensor on your car. So this is the brake master cylinder. So make sure you guys upgrade to the Z32 brake master cylinder. Set that aside. And Next, we're going to the rotor, all right? So this is the Z32 rotor. Um, I went with the drill and slotted because uh, I wanted this to match the one that I have on my car now. These are a lot bigger in diameter and should provide a lot better stopping power. You're going to want to make sure you upgrade the brake rotor because um, if, you, if not, this will not fit on there. It's too small. So make sure you do this. Um, also, you're going to probably have to remove the dust shield on the stock one before you actually start the process. So make sure you guys do that. Set this aside, it's pretty heavy. Make sure it doesn't fall. And then let's talk about the brake pads. So I went with power stuff because on Rock Auto you can you know like set the car and then it tells you all the parts that are available for it. So I wanted to get everything into one one shipment. So I didn't want to like you know source around like having a box shipped to me here, a box shipped to me there. Everything came in like one package. So it looked really nice. So these um, power stop uh, track day brake pads are like the highest spec you can get and they're the I guess the PSA 647 model the fit onto the Z32 so uh, basically my whole S13 is getting a whole front brake upgrade so you're gonna want to get new pads for the car as well um, the good thing about Rock Auto is that when you get parts uh, it tells you exactly what matches up with the car so you need to like look around make sure everything fits it just fits so Brake pads right here, set this aside. Try it till it's pretty nice. Right here. All right, and uh, let's talk about the brake line. So, as you guys know, I do have stainless steel brake lines throughout the entire car, front and the back, and the clutch lines. But unfortunately, you know the fittings on the caliper right here. The fittings on the caliper, right here. Uh, this line needs to be upgraded to the Vrin ZX stainless steel line because they fit right into that into that fitting right there. Actually, this one goes into that fitting right there. So you guys can make sure you upgrade the brake line because if you take your car apart and you're about to do a brake job and you realize that you don't have the right brake line, it's a pain in the butt. You gotta have to like go order it. So make sure you guys order the Vrin ZX um, new brake lines for the car. And I got with I went with ISR Performance, which is the same brake lines that I got on the car now, but they're just a ZX model, so make sure you guys do that. Put that aside. And uh, last but not least, as far as parts goes, um, I ordered four new, um, let's see, four, oh, uh, I fell down. Four new uh, caliber bolts for the car. So you guys can see here, um, these are the four bolts that, you know, bolt the, the, the caliper and into the actual um, assembly right here. And you guys wanna get four because it's two for each side. And I got two of these two of these little um, like rubber uh, caps for the car. So they're like 300ZX OEM model. They have the little like little ring right here that it attaches on to the, uh, to, the, to the caliper so it doesn't fall off in case you lose stuff in the beginning. So this is optional. I think the kit comes with it, but I didn't wanna take any risk so I ordered it. Bolt anyway. So, and then next, let's talk about um, painting the caliper, right? So, uh, we'll go into that detail in part one. Um, you know, I'll give you guys a more breakdown of that. But anyway, 
you have, I went with um, black. We're gonna do a, uh, a uh, high gloss black. You know, this is a VHT caliber paint. This is a high temp up in 900 F. So we're gonna paint this and prep it. So I have this paint, I have the primer, which is the 200 uh, degrees re resistant, and it's a Rust-Oleum, it's really good primer. Um, we're, gonna, well, we're gonna prep the, the caliper, and we're gonna just use the primer and the paint, and then lastly, we're gonna top it off with the clear coat right here. This is also a VHT uh, clear coat. We're gonna make sure we do everything right. There's a couple of YouTube videos on YouTube to make sure everything gets done right, so um, just follow that, or you can follow this video. Um, last but not least, is we have a sander right here. So with that being said, uh, there's a couple like emblems on the side of the caliper. I'm gonna use a sander right here to sand down the sides, make everything smooth, and then uh, we're gonna just clean it off with then some brake fluid, and then we're going to start prepping the car. So today's part one video is just an introduction onto all the parts, what you guys need exactly. Um, and I'm not in any way sponsored to do this video. I just try to help the community and just you guys didn't see that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, let's get to it and we'll start prepping the, the paint and uh, we'll start painting the caliper. So hope you guys tune in for the next episode as well and I hope you guys post in the comments down below. So let's get started and just uh, prep the, the uh, caliper. We're going to put some masking tape on it, prep all the, the rubber seals and then we'll start with the paint. So enjoy. Now we have the caliper right in front of us. We're going to make sure that we set it down in a stable place. Take the stone grinder and grind away gently on the surface of the caliper to get rid of that logo mark and make it a smooth, even surface. Now take the sander pad and put it onto the orbital sander and you're going to gently massa uh, massage it in and kind of like sand away. Make sure it's a smooth, even surface. Don't put too much pressure. Just make sure that it goes nice and even. As you see, the surface of the caliper is nice and smooth now. And now we're going to go ahead and place some masking tape over the uh, caliper and cover it from getting dust and paint inside when we go ahead and spray paint it with the base and with the clear coat later on. As you can see here, it's nice and covered now. It's ready to go. Wipe it down with the fiber cloth. Make sure everything is good. Start with the primer. Go left and right, gently, a couple passes, and then let it dry for about 15 minutes and redo it again. Now we're going to apply the base coat. You're going to go gently and go left to right, top and down. Just make sure you cover the entire caliper. Make sure you don't miss any parts and uh, make sure it's nice and even. Let it dry and do a couple of passes and a couple of coats. Here we go, we have the completed product. Let it finish, let it dry up. And once the base coat is dry, go ahead and put on the Nissan Emblem logo before you put the clear coat on. Make sure it sticks as you peel it off be gentle so you don't scratch it. Here it is, we have the completed uh, first part of the caliper painted. Now we're going to apply the clear coat next. And hope you guys like this video. Please watch, please uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you very much.